Hey guys, how you doing? This is Will from Will's Treasures, and we made it to another Saturday morning premiere train. Glad you guys are all here. Please grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax. We have eight epic channels that are going to bring you some awesome content today. The list of them are down in the description of this video, so you can follow right along. And we're also going to be posting the link in the live chat so you can jump from person to person to person for the next two hours and spend your Saturday morning with us. And if you're new to the Premier Train or to my channel and you want one of my channel stickers, just shoot me an email right up here and I'll be happy to get one of these out to you. We have a great community of people here, and you're going to see some wonderful videos. And today, we're going to be going over all of my gold. Now, I'm a huge silver collector. I'm not a huge gold collector. All the gold I have is right here in this bag. Could be a lot, could be a little. Who knows? But we're going to bust it open. I'm going to go through some of this and then see what you guys think. So I do have some coins. I do have some small bars. I do have some of this carded stuff. So let's go through these cards first. You've all seen these before. These benchmark strategic metals. Itty bitty quarter grain of gold. Right? You got to start somewhere. That may be some, that may be more gold than some people have. Who knows? But these cards are neat. Here's another quarter grain right in the center there. Barely see that damn thing. And what is that from? American Certified Bullion. I think I got all these as, as uh, people sent them to me in the mail. Here's another quarter grain. Little itty bitty bar. Pretty cool. And another benchmark quarter grain. They're neat to have. Here's a carrot bar. One gram. One gram gold. Pretty neat. And, oh, everybody knows the Pamp Swiss. One grammar. Pretty neat. She's kind of... There she goes. Well, kind of swimming around in that capsule a little bit. But yeah, there it is. Pamp Swiss One Grammar. Here's a couple more One Grammars. Wonder if anybody's keeping track. Let me know how much gold I actually have. Just two more grams there. Check them out on the back. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. What do we have here? And we have another gram. Guess the grams are adding up, right? Nice design on the back. One gram. And what do we have here? We have a dose peso. Nice little piece of gold there. And you can see on the back. Nice little piece of gold. Moving on up. 
we have a 2.5 peso very nice has that beautiful design on the back You're getting into gold these are reasonably priced there ain't much of a not too much of a premium compared to some of other gold and what do we have here we have a britannia look at that little one tenth ounce Let's see if we can take it out of here and give you a little better look I am gonna put a glove on for this since it's in really good condition there you go Super shiny, proof. Yo, queen. Yo, queenie. Moving on to some other gold here. What do we have here? We have a Philharmonic, one tenth ounce. Show this side. It's a nice piece. Like I said, I don't have a tremendous amount of gold, but the pieces that I do have, I enjoy. And we have a panda. We have a panda from, let me see if I can get a date off of this. An earlier panda, 1987. Nice piece right there. We'll show you the panda. Look at that. And this is, I want to see, uh, that's a one tenth ounce also. So the panda is one tenth ounce. A little bigger coin. Moving right along. And here we have a nice quarter ounce. There you go. That's nice quarter ounce eagle. Are there dates on these? I don't even know. Checking it underneath the underneath the scope. No, no dates on them. But yeah, nice quarter ounce eagle. Nice. There we go. Put that down before I drop it again. And this right here, this is gold that I actually mined up in Alaska. Some nice chunky gold. If you ever have the opportunity to go to Alaska, I definitely take the trip. It's something you will never forget. Well, we got this little vial of chunky gold here. A few nuggets. Definitely a cool part of the collection. 
So out of all this, what do we got? We got a couple tenths. We got four tenths, a quarter. There's another tenth. We got two, three, four. Take this glove off. One, two, three, four, five grams. A bunch of grains. They don't add up to much. But all together, I'm probably, uh, I got to be getting close to an ounce, I guess. I don't know, maybe more. Maybe less. Out of all these pieces here, which one's your favorite? Do you like the panda? Or are you the eagle type of guy? Maybe down the road I'll get myself an ounce of gold. But I like this frank fra fractional gold because if I do need to sell this quickly, there's a buyer's market for this. Now, if I had a one ounce gold coin and I needed to flip it real quick, you know, not everybody can, you know, swing $2,000 or whatever it's going to be for that ounce of, ounce of gold. You know, most people and, and most stores that you take it to, if you're taking it to a coin store or if you're selling it online, um, selling a tenth ounce, you'll be able to do that real easy. You know, so think about that. Even the quarter ounce ones. I mean, you know, you flip that for 500 bucks, 525 um that's doable you know once you get up into the the half ounce one ounce it gets a little more difficult to uh to flip those coins but we'll get all these back in their holders here so what was your favorite coin the panda the eagle the britannia there's the brit there's the britannia it's a nice coin. Or do you like the pesos? Let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. Do you prefer fractional gold over, you know, full one ounces? Or do you like the raw gold? You know, this stuff is cool, man. It took me hours to get all this. Hours. So, let me know what you guys think. That is my massive gold for my stack. Um, not much. Maybe more than some. Maybe a lot less than some. But it's my gold. My stack. I'm happy with it. As, see, as when I see fit, I add a little more. So guys, let's keep this train of rolling. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and sub. And stick around for all these other channels. You don't want to miss them. This is Will from Will's Treasures. And I will catch you on the next video.